Hello, and welcome to Seymour's World Commentary on ThinkTech Hawaii. You can find all my commentaries and Seymour's World episodes on the ThinkTech Hawaii websites. I welcome your comments by email, text, or phone, and you could reach me at seymour.kazimerski at gmail.com or 808-551-3222. Our topic today is, the pressure is off. I just returned from an extended trip to Canada and feel like I need a vacation. Why? Because I put so much pressure on myself to do what I have to do. You can stop trying to get everything right. Is the pressure getting to you? Do you try to make everything work only to find that your best efforts are largely ineffective? Does this happen to you sometimes or always? Do you always feel there is constant pressure on you? Well, I have decided that from now on, that's not going to happen to me. While pressure drives me towards success, it also can drive me to the point of exhaustion. It doesn't lead to the path of least resistance, which I believe is the best for taking more efficient action. For me, it feels like a constant pushing feeling when I am caught in a pressure trap. As if there's an inner pressure pushing out of my head and the pressure inward that tries to push me forward. I constantly feel like I'm not doing enough. Not uncommon when you are growing your business, that is a common feeling to have. No, don't cry any tears for me, seriously, I am fine. But still, I am talking about something different here. This is a feeling I've had most of my life. This pressure beneath the surface of always needing to be doing something, changing, moving forward and progressing. Believe it or not, I love that about myself because it makes me challenge myself to keep learning and to go for what I want. I think it makes me push beyond the status quo. That's the story I tell myself, at least. And yet, I also hate this ambitious, pressuring drive because I will inevitably burn myself out, take actions that are unnecessary, and waste energy. It prevents me from taking right, aligned action. Though I'm a big believer in helping people bust apart limiting beliefs and mindsets, our bodies have limits, clearly. Stress takes its toll. Energy gets depleted. I'm not saying that putting pressure on oneself is always the primary reason. I am taking this as a slice of life that could be a major player in feeling overwhelmed and or exhausted. Diet, exercise, sleep, and other factors certainly play a role too. So what can we do to take the pressure off? It's quite simple. Chill, sit, wait. That is right, chill out. Turn off all your electronic devices. Get a glass of water, a cup of coffee or tea and sit and wait. Don't act on that pressured feeling. Let it run its course and then that act after it subsides. We have to untrain this pressure do, do, do response. Otherwise, we keep rewarding ourselves for acting on it and keep the cycle going. Look for a better way. By better, I mean more relaxed, more efficient. Things that stop you from spinning your wheels or doing extra busy work. Call a friend. Ask them to come help you out or talk to you so you can chill out. You see, your time and vitality is important. Important as hell. Lastly, go with the flow. Surrender to it. When all else fails, succumbing to your tiredness, stop working for a while. Clear your schedule. Surrender to the overwhelm. We are all caught in the drift of life, and so much is out of our control. This even rubs me as I type this, because I help people shift their perspectives in order to gain more personal responsibility. And yet, so much is out of our control. Yes, it is a Zen paradox of letting go of control to have more control. Control over the little channel of life that passes through us 
and comes from that which is so much greater than us. Your life vitality is important and the pressure to produce and get things done is just chasing the dragon when your life suffers from it. When the pressure is on, stop the chase. Let it go. Each of us has to choose one of two paths in life, the old way or the new way. Reflect on where you are. Take time to reflect and be honest about what is happening in your interior world. Recognize the fork in the road that is always before you. Choose to talk to someone. Maybe it's God or a good friend. When something goes, goes wrong in your life, instead of trying to handle it yourself, seek the new way. Refocus your goals. Instead of being angry, be more humble. It requires the swallowing of pride and self-sufficiency and the beginning of openness and confidence. Wow. I feel much better now that the pressure is off. I hope this helps you as well. My name is Seymour Kazimersky. You're watching a commentary of Seymour's World. You can find all my commentaries and Seymour's World episodes on the ThinkTech Hawaii website. I wish you a wonderful week. Aloha.